went to chess, I beat a couple of guys and I lost my friend. And then after that he said, no, actually you're pretty good. Uh, because everyone else in the team was provincial and things like that. So I started playing and then it was my one of choice. So, so it's the one, yeah. Okay, and uh, Nick, if someone wants to take up chess, why would you encourage them to take up chess? Well, uh, chess is a brilliant game. The reason why is, if we think about it, first of all, the oldest sport known to man. They found references to it in Sanskrit. Um, and the second thing is that if you look in modern day, the thing that mankind is best with on planet Earth is his mind. Yeah. So if you want to measure the strength of your best form of human competition, uh, it would be with your mind. And chess, of course, is a great competition at that. Wow. Uh, because if you think about all the physical sports, there are animals out there that compete at the physical sports. It's only because we're competing against humans. But here, when uh, you're a human being playing chess, uh, it's, it's a great measure of your mental faculties and strengths. And of course, it's wonderful exercise for young people to increase their, their intellectual capacity, old people to uh, keep the challenge going and stable off Alzheimer's, they've done studies of that. So it's actually brilliant. Uh, chess is gym for the brain and it should definitely do it. Well, I mean, these are great insights. Now, Nick, um, you are a very strong chess player. What do you think it will take for Africa to have its own world chess champion? Uh, well, I think the first thing is it's about numbers. Um, if you look, always, first thing is we'd have to get grandmasters and strong grandmasters. And to get that, we need large bases of players playing. Yeah. If you look, for example, in Russia, Holland, uh, in Europe, they have hundreds of thousands of players that are playing in school level and yeah. then going through. The German Chess Federation has 120,000 registered chess players. Wow. Now, that, those are active chess players playing tournament <laughs> chess. So, for Africa to... to Go forward, we need to get a sponsorship, we ourselves need to get organized, make ourselves attractive to sponsors, and then get mass participation. I mean, if we could get uh, 300 million people playing chess actively in Africa, we will be able to produce an, a world champion. Uh, that's without a doubt. But again, it's about getting those numbers and that huge base. Because currently, uh, all the way down here in Southern Africa is the tip and where we play the best chess. Uh, but the people just across the border, again, they don't have the numbers. Yeah. And if they have the numbers and we have more numbers, then again, we can create this groundswell. And of course, that's where it comes from. It's the same as Kasparov uh, spoke about when he was out here. If you have the numbers, you'll produce a grandmasters. Yeah. If you have enough grandmasters, you'll produce super grandmasters. If you have enough super grandmasters, you'll produce a world champion. You can find the talent. Well, thank you so much for this short interview. Really appreciate it. Eh? No problem. Cheers, eh? Thanks, Bruce. All right.